who I've gone to and will continue to go to for an honest opinion for my songs is Amber Riley. Out of my past co-stars, the one I would most like to write a song with, Amber Riley. Hands down. She's already said we need to do that. So we'll do that. And she might be putting out music. I'm gonna get in trouble. And you, you're gonna love me. Yeah. Out of my past co-stars, who would I want to perform a duet with? I think Naya Rivera. That would be fun. That'd be great. During the first Glee tour, I also, the last night we were supposed to like do things to like mess with the show a bit. And she was so down and I'm like, this song we're adding a Michael Jackson pause here. No one else got it. Ryan Murphy thought it was a mistake in the song, but she was so down to do it and she did like a whole Michael pose. I was like, great. So I think we'd have a lot of fun doing a song together. How can you do a duet by yourself? That's like vocal masturbation. Out of everyone I've worked with, I think I'd like to go on a vacation with Darren Chris. He likes going on trains through different countries and things like that. I've never done that. It's a dream of mine. So maybe I would just let Darren like plan out an itinerary and we would just go. I think that'd be fun. Also, he is like super adventurous and down for whatever. And I sort of need someone like that to like push me to do things. He also knows everyone. So I think we'd be good no matter where we went. Like he would know somebody. Well, if we're gonna go down, I'm honored to go down together. Easy. Who out of my past co-stars would I star in a TV show with? Jenna. We're trying to, we're like, we need to just work together forever. Like we have a podcast and we're like, what else can we do to make sure that we just keep working together? We made this too easy. <laughs> we made this way too easy. So we're putting it out there. We're just, maybe that will limit us. I don't know, but <laughs> I want to keep working with Jenna. We're just, we gotta stay close. This may be surprising, <laughs> but out of all the people I've worked with, the person I would go to for life advice, I think Cord Overstreet. Cord is the sweetest, like funniest person ever, and is a little bit of a puppy. If you need to like talk to him about some serious stuff, he's a great listener, and I think he's given me some great advice before. Don't really remember it, but I feel it, you know? I think Cord might be the guy. He's from Tennessee, he's from the South, like he's got, I don't know, he's got good roots. I don't know, there's something about it. I think Cord may be wise. I mean, I played him my music when I was making it. He had like great notes, great comments about it. And I was like, oh, like super positive. He's super encouraging. So I think maybe, I think Cord. He's a little like sensei in some ways. This is who I am and I make no apologies. Who I've gone to and will continue to go to for an honest opinion um, for my songs is Amber Riley. Actually, it's gonna be a three-way tie between Amber, Naya, and Darren because those are the three people I sent my music to. We send each other music when everybody's working on stuff and it's sort of like a very candid, blunt. Amber would straight up be like, I like this song, this song needs more of this, you're too lazy, you need to like, he's like, I like when your voice does this, you should add this. And I'll be like, yeah, I don't really like this, I like the guitar part on that song. And so we will really like get into it and dissect it. Oh, easy. If I had to pick anyone to run my Instagram account out of my past co-stars for a day, Becca Tobin. Because her Instagram is like professional. She is like a businesswoman and her Instagram is killing it. So Becca, honestly, I, I would follow Becca with anything, so whatever she wants. I mean, for fun and out in the town, any of us. <laughs> There's one thing we're good at. So we all went out very recently. We got together because it was shortly after the 10 year anniversary of the pilot and we hadn't all met up or anything. And I ran into Darren and he's like, I feel like we should do something. I was talking to Diana, Diana was gonna be in town and Diana doesn't come in town that often. So we're like, let's just, Whoever's in town, a lot of people were out of town or couldn't come. Like Harry just had a baby and he showed up. So it was, it was good. Yeah, it was, it was a fun night. <laughs> so one of those nights where I'm like, we'll go for a drink and we're all so tired and old and we'll go to bed. And then the place is shut down and we're like, we're still here. All right. But that's how it is. It's like, oh, as soon as we get together, we revert back to being like 2011. 
to pick one. Who? I mean, Naya could do the answer for all of this, to be fair. <laughs> like, Naya across the board for everything. Um, and Jenna. 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 Mm, see? Jenna's like my life partner. We've been out everywhere. That's the thing. Everybody, like, Diana on a night out? I'll say Diana. Here's the th Yes. Depends where we are. New York or London? I'm going with Diana on a night out out of all my co-stars. Because Diana can get you in anywhere. She knows everybody and is obviously like the sweetest person ever, but Diana's the ticket and she's always a good time and I love watching Diana dance. It's, it's the best.